Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having an amazing weekend. In this video, we are going to build a really simple AR business card app using ARKit 2.0 image tracking feature. Now before starting this tutorial, just make sure that you have iOS 12 installed in your iOS device and Xcode 10 installed on your Mac. If you have done that, let's get started. Type in ARKit 2.0 Bitbucket. Open the first link, go to Downloads, Branches, and download this ARKit 2.0 beta package. If you are watching this video after September 2018, then download the ARKit 2 package from Downloads, Main Branch. Once it is downloaded, open it using Unity. Open this folder, Examples. And we have these two folders that is ARKit 1.5 and ARKit 2.0. The image detection feature was introduced in ARKit 1.5, but in image detection, you can just scan the image target and trigger an AR experience. But you could not track that image. Now in ARKit 2.0, you can track the position of image targets as well. So if you move the image target, any overlay that you have on that image target, whether it's a model or a video, that will move along the image. But for some reason, they have just updated the image tracking feature in ARKit 1.5 folder itself. So let's open ARKit 1.5, Unity AR Image Anchor, and open this scene. Now just drag your business card image in the project. And let's just drag this inside the reference images folder. So as you can see, these reference images folder already contains two images. And that is because this project that comes along with ARKit 2.0 plugin already has this demo scene which has two image targets set up. So we are just going to modify one of them to make our application work. But if you want to understand in detail what's happening behind the scenes and how this is working, you can refer to my ARKit 1.5 ARKit image detection video in which I have explained everything in detail. But if you just want to make this application, you can just follow along. Now let's modify one of the reference images and place our business card image on one of them. So let's modify this one. It currently has this image. We are just going to drag business card image right here. And just disable the random cube as we don't need this. Now right click here in the hierarchy, create empty, and just name this anything. Now let's create a reference business card inside Unity so that we can place the videos close to that. Right click, 3D object, plane. And make sure these parent and plane objects are at 0, 0, 0. So just reset this and reset the plane as well. Right click, reset. And now measure the length and the width of your business card using a measuring tape. The width of my card is 10.9 centimeters. So as this is in meters, 0 0.0109. And the height of my card is 6.138 centimeters. So it will be. 0.006138. So measure your business card and write the dimensions here. And let's just name this business card. And let's just create a material for this business card. Legacy shaders, diffuse. default and just drag this material on the business card now as you can see this image is inverted so let's just rotate this by 180 degrees and then drag this inside the parent and for the videos we have to create three planes similar to this so what I'm gonna do is I'll just duplicate this Command D, duplicate. So this will be our business card and this will be the three videos which will move along with the business card. So we have to attach three videos to these three planes and don't worry about their texture. Just let it remain like this. Let's name this one, two and three. And I'll just drag three videos and drag these videos 
on these three planes like this. If you run the project from here, you will see these videos playing. And now I'll just create a prefab of this parent. So just drag this parent and a prefab is created. You can just delete this from here. Click on generate image anger cube and just drag this parent right here. Now let's run the project. Go to file, build settings, switch this to iOS, switch platform and then click on add open scenes. Now press build. Save. This will create an Xcode build. Now open the Xcode build that was generated. Go to image.xe assets folder, AR resources, and click on your business card image. Click here, and let's change the size to the dimensions of our business card. Change this to centimeters, and the width is 10.9, and height is 6.1389. Click here, select your team, and make sure that the deployment target is 12.0. Choose your phone and run the application.